Hi, my name is Thomas Shepard, and this screencast is a part of the MCAST project at Athabasca University. In this tutorial, I will provide an overview of the Audacity 1.3 beta interface. First, let's have a quick look at the window. It's like a regular window you'd see on any software program in Windows environment. We happen to be using Windows Vista 64-bit operating system. Now, uh, you would see the menus here along the side, but the most important thing about Audacity is it has a great toolbars that allow us to use the program uh, fairly flawlessly. So let me just explain a bit about these. First we have the Audacity Control Toolbar. I'll just undock it there for a second so you can see what it looks like. And put it back. And all it is is just like a the old VCR style radio buttons. You have the pause, you have the play, stop, you have the uh, rewind or skip to start in this case, or fast forward, which means go to the end, uh, skip to the end, and you have record. Now, when I record, uh, it'll record my voice and it'll set it up in a track automatically. So when you're finished, uh, you would hit the stop button to stop, and you can go reverse to, to if you're in the middle of a particular track, you can hit reverse and go to start, and you can hit the play button to hear it. Now, uh, that's the control toolbar. Next, we have the Audacity Tools toolbar. And the Tools toolbar is basically what you would do uh, some of your editing with. This here is the selection tool. I can select any part of my track, okay, or I can just click to go into a particular part of the track and play it. Uh, right here, I have the zoom tool. I can zoom in and I can zoom out by hitting the left and right buttons on the mouse. Here is the envelope tool. Now, we don't use this one too much, uh, but basically, you can use the envelope tool to um, narrow down and expand your tracks, which basically gives you a lower and higher volume. It's used sometimes to create a fade in, fade out effect. Here we have the time shift tool. Now this is a really neat one, particularly when you have multiple tracks. So I'm just going to do a record on a multiple, uh, create another track here. I'm just going to hit record. And it'll, as you can see, it'll pick up where I last selected and start recording my audio. I'm going to hit stop here now. So if I wanted to align these two tracks, or if I wanted to move them around, I just use a time shift tool here, grab that whole track, and line it up where I left off on the other track. It's kind of a neat thing when you want to align your tracks, particularly when you're doing intros and closings and that type of thing. So next thing I want to talk about, uh, the rest of these tools here we don't use too often. This is a draw tool and a multi-mode tool, but be, yeah, to be honest, I don't, I, I don't think I've ever used them. And I just keep try to keep it fairly simple. Um, the next thing to talk about would be our Audacity meter tool. Now, I can just pop that out for you to have a look and we can dock and all these toolbars can be pulled out and docked different places and all this does basically is keeps track of your uh, level so if I want to go up here and I want to return to the beginning and I hit my play now you can see that when I was playing it, uh, it you got the green coming up in the playback one. So the first one here is the playback. As you can see, I'll tell from the icon, it's the output le level meter, which is basically your playback sound. When I'm recording, and I'll do another record here, just watch this side, and you'll see it goes in red, and that record keeps track of my recording volume. So as I talk, I can actually see my recording going up, and uh, what a good idea here is not to have it maxed out all the time. So I'm just going to hit stop there. Now, the next toolbar that I want to discuss very quickly is our mixer toolbar. And if you need to adjust your sound on the playback or the uh, recording, you would do it here, but she's using these sliders. Okay. Next, I'm going to skip over to uh, the transcription toolbar. Now, this one here is a new one that uh, I don't use too often. Basically, it has to do with um, um, speeding up your sound and volumes and that kind of stuff. This here one is your edit toolbar and on here you have different things like cut, copy, paste, trim, these type of things and I'll show you that afterwards. The final toolbar that I need to talk about is this one on the bottom which is our selection toolbar. We don't use these options too much but right here you would set your uh, your rate for your Audacity file and I'll go in more into that later. Thanks for listening and that's all for now.